Hi guys, I'm back. Do you want this famous edit style on After Effects? Sorry, but I had to blur some parts and remove the song. But you can find my edit on YouTube short. In this video, I'm going to show you how I did each part of the edit, but it will not be a full step-by-step -step tutorial. It will be more like a big breakdown. But if you want the project file of the edit, you can find it in the description for free. Let's start. First create a new project. For the composition size, I used 1080 by 1080 and a frame rate of 60. Now import three things. First your song, then your scene pack and a PNG image of the title. Select your song and import the song part you want for the edit. Now two options. First you can play the song and when you hear a beat click on the ears key, or go in Keyframe Assistant, then choose Convert Audio to Keyframes. Select both channels and slider and go in the graph. And now you can see better the beats. Let's set up the clips for the voice. First, select the part where they speak. Make sure that the clip size fit the screen. Now cut each scene and change the position. Now enable the same boxes as me to make the clips smooth. After that, pre-compose each clip. Add the effect Twixter and copy my settings. Copy the frame rate of your scene pack for the Twixter. Now add the CC, you can find it for free in the description. To finish, copy all the effects and pass them. In the tutorial, I'm showing you how I made each part with the settings, etc. But I'm not going to recreate it. Again, if you really want to see the final project, you can get it for free in the description. Let's continue. Let's talk about the zooms when the character is talking. Select a new clip. Make it last one second. You're free for the duration. Mute the clip and change his position. Then pre-compose it. Past the previous effect. And change the speed to 30. Add the effect S Blurmo Curves. And copy what I do. Copy my graph. To make a better transition, add a white solid. Now animate his opacity like me and copy my graph. For you edit, I advise you to put it with flash at the beginning and at the end. Next step, it's the zooms. You will see it's pretty much the same. Select a clip. And fit the duration between the two markers. Change his position and mute it. 
pre-compose it. Passed all the previous effects on it. Now to animate the Twix door, set the speed to 200 at the start, then in the middle at 20 and at the end again at 200. Select them, click F9 and copy my graph. Now quick example. If your next clip has to be shorter or longer, then select all the keyframes, hold ALT and drag them to the left or the right to fit them properly. Let's talk about the texts. I'm going to show you the settings I use to create my edit. First, add a text. Write what you want. Select the text and change his size to 35 and for the distance of the two texts too. Change the font and choose Arial Bold. Select the text and click Control Alt Home. Copy what I do for the align and the paragraph. Add the effect Deep Glow and copy my settings. Now add a drop shadow and copy my settings again. Duplicate it with Control D. For the animation, add the effect Fade Up Words. The distance between the keyframes means the speed of the animation. Of course, fit the speed with the voice. Add the effect Fade Out Slow. To make the animation smooth, let a big distance between the two keyframes. Don't do that, or even that, it will not be smooth. That's good. Now add the effect Increase Tracking. Change 40 to 6, or the number you like. Here is how the keyframes should look like. If you want an inverted text, it's not complicated. Just select the word and click on the arrow. You can change the size of the stroke. Now let's create this mix color text. Duplicate your text. Select the first sentence. Right click and choose opacity. Set it to zero. Do the same for the other text with the second sentence. Select the first text and click Ctrl X to copy the effects and delete them at the same time. Then add the effect Gradient Ramp and copy what I do. Now click Ctrl V to pass the previous effects. With this technique, you keep the main animation for the two texts and not too different, especially for the fade out. To change the glow color, just enable the tint in the deep glow effect and choose the color you want. To create this bluish text, change its color to a nice blue and add the effect slow fade on and play with the speed. Now add the fade out slow and do the same process. Add the effect CC Light Sweep and copy what I do.
Once you're done, add the effect Deep Glow and also Drop Shadow, the same settings as before. For the last text, it's about the shaky red one. First select your text, right click and choose Fill Color then RGB. Now animate the color as me. Select your text and pre-compose it. Add the effect S Shake. Copy my settings. And animate it like me. Copy my graph. Let me show you how I made the shake transition. For that, create an adjustment layer and add the effect twitch. Copy my settings. Choose the color you want and the color amount too. Now copy my animation. To finish, copy my graph. Of course, you're free to try different settings, graph, etc. The last part, it's about the logo animation. First import your logo and pre-compose it. Add a deep glow and copy my settings. Now add the effect voices rays and copy again my settings. Then add a drop shadow and copy my settings again and again. Now go in the pre-composition and animate his size like me. Also animate the opacity like me and play with the speed, etc. Now you have all the basics to create your own edit. Again, you can find my project file in description but also all the shortcuts I used. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments.